Hello and welcome to what is basically Talk Like a Pirate Day news. Let's get into it for this week. For context, for the next month, it's good to read the calendar events, so we'll quickly go through that. On the 3rd, which will be tomorrow, Friday, will be a Laura boss, a challenge boss, with a Necrotic Pirate upgrade bonus coming out and a feature gear shop back to school items. So, kind of just a challenge boss week there. But uh, they do that quite often before Talk Like a Pirate Day event, where yeah, that will be the week after on the 10th, Talk Like a Pirate Day Part 1, the collection chest and seasonal gear. On the week after that will be Part 2 with an update to the collection chest, so you'll have to wait for Week 2 to know whether or not it's worth it to actually get the whole 10k chest or just buy the items individually. I imagine it's going to be worth it to get the whole one. Uh, There'll be some more context on that later in this video. Blaze Hollowborn Saga is the last week of September, the last Friday, and uh, that will be part one of that, so that's going to be a multi-part series there, along with Trade Chest and Wheel of Doom merge items being added to those respective shops. Also, the 50% bonus is going to be going away on the 7th, so if you need ACs for any of the 10k chests or anything like that, uh, grab them up. There's a lot of 10k chests coming up. They've had in the past ones for Halloween. I think there's only actually been one of those ever, so they might not do it, but they might do it depending on the amount of items they have probably. Uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, January. You know, if you have ACs, they'll be useful for the end of the year and early next year, usually when a bunch of the content drops. All right, they're doing something a little different with the chest this year is why I think that if you could afford the 10K chest, it might actually be worth picking up this year. Uh, for the quantity, if not anything else, I guess. So you can see on uh, screen here, these images are a few of the chaos themed items that will be in the chaos seasonal collection chest. The chest will come back every year, uh, but will be available to people that buy the normal rare collection chest this year. It, the seasonal one will be included with that. So you're getting the seasonal one along with the rare one. The rare one will probably be around like 10,000 or 13, 15,000 ACs worth of items in it that they normally do, right? Uh, and then you'll have the season one on top of that. So it might be a pretty good deal Of course, we won't know until it's actually out But uh, there seems to be quite a lot of the chaos stuff posted already Along with the additional stuff like from the contest winners and all that stuff will be in the rare chest So it's a good amount of stuff here this year The seasonal chaos collection will be included in the 2021 collection chest in future years You'll be able to buy the talk about Friday day chaos collection chest or the event rare chest. Uh, so they won't be together in future years, they'll be separate. Also, I'd really like to point out that I love the fact there's a rose where the pistol would normally be in this navel that Baido made. A very nice touch there. And Hakari making his own faction gear is good to see. And uh, I thought I think we saw this last week, so yeah. I wanted to throw this in here because it's just cool to think about. Uh, it's not anything confirmed or anything that's actually going to happen. I don't have any information on this, but uh, yeah, funny. Back when I was working on AQ Light, it was on my to-do list. Uh, I was talking about posing your character, uh, more specifically a custom idol uh, pose. I think that would be really sick as an official feature to be able to make your own idol pose for your character that everyone on the server, like a server side pose that everyone could like set their own. I think it'd be funny to see what kind of poses people come up with. Uh, Maybe it'd be misused a little bit, but it would be a fun thing and if anyone was misusing it Of course you could uh, send in a report or whatever, but uh, yeah, that would be really cool to do All right, so thieves uh, he set up a thing where there was like a vote for What naval was gonna win thieves had a bunch of them designed uh, the vote the poll for the vote got kind of like uh, Botted or whatever oh, botting an AQ who would who would imagine something like that happening no one would ever bought anything adventure right, quest related. That would never happen. But uh, so it seems like instead of just one of them winning, we're getting oh, quite a few of them, which I'm very happy about. You can see here, uh, this is all the art that's all confirmed to be releasing. This will probably be in the rares chest. Well, yeah, it's not chaos, so it will definitely be in the rares chest. Very big fan of the female on the left there and on the right, to be honest. Uh, the hairstyles and the outfits look great. Uh, yeah, it's just really good really cool male hairstyles as well a lot of good art here That will be in the chest for Taco Pirate Day this year and uh, yeah, very excited for that The first Chaos Lord Urshan uh, depicted as a naval commander here from Kotaro 
Now, uh, yeah, this will be in the chest, of course, season one. Kotaro has mentioned on Twitter that he might be making, or he is making, he says it feels right now as I complete my next pirate armor. So he is making another pirate armor. I wonder what that's going to look like. He'll probably post it on Twitter right after I upload this video. So check his Twitter, link in the description. Sansi Naval from Snowverse. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I think this might be for the Chaos Chess. Maybe not. Um, anyway, I don't know about the scarf on the female version of the Naval Commander, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think it fits the male one because the male one's fully covered, but uh, the female one I don't think is. Might be wrong about the. I, maybe the skin color looks match. I don't know. I might be wrong, but. Another one for the seasonal collection chest from Lei here. I don't know if Lei is going to be making a uh, naval commander a rare one this year, but uh, this is the one for the chest, of course, Lion Fang themed. Pretty cool. Gold and purple is, of course, a great color combination. Uh, Ricardo here asked about Ying and Yang, uh, whether there's going to be a naval for them, and Alina actually replied, and uh, Mehmet is going to be making it. So. I, yeah, I think it's coming out this year as well. Can't wait to see that. This is the upgrade pack that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Uh, it has a little bit of CC on it. And uh, yeah, it's a green pirate. So if you like that, that will be out tomorrow. You can get that with an upgrade pack from X Rose. I'm not the biggest fan of green, especially uh, a dark green. So uh, from Furrow here, I think we've seen this on the news video before, but it's like a fully finished up version and Furrow's been getting a lot better with hair shading, in my opinion. It's looking very, very nice on this outfit of the lightning bolts and all that. And you can see the accessories. You got like a little faro on your shoulder, a little backpack. I'm liking backpacks. I think we need more backpack uh, capes in this game. Would be very cool. So yeah, nice little outfit there from Furrow. Thyronis with a sneak peek of a naval commander here. Uh, it's very zoomed out, and I'm not sure if it's confirmed or not for uh, this year. But if you got a good eyesight, you can uh, take a look there. It looks pretty cool. I think the purple on the capes might be color custom. Knowing Thyronius, it is. A lot of his gear is color custom. Another naval from Silvers, this time a Skyguard one, which I've seen a lot of people excited for. Uh, now, the criticisms for this I've seen is that there's another version of the naval that people liked more, this one right here. And I do see on the male version, people especially liking the male version of this as well although i think right here the female version looks pretty decent for a sky guard version of it especially the hat not using the default pop hat hair on the hat makes me very happy very happy i don't like it i did like it the first 100 times that i saw it i don't very much like it anymore repetition even of a good thing can be bad uh but the male hair is the same but it's just a little bit of hair i don't know anyway so, cool naval there from Snowverse. Another confirmed naval commander, this time from Diogon. Uh, this one's Dragon Time Naval Commander, uh, which is cool. Uh, yeah, good design and all that. This, of course, isn't finished, but uh, I like the hat quite a bit with the dragon head on it. That's a pretty cool hat, and it's not using the uh, default hair. So, yeah, big fan. Illness with some quibble art. I have not seen any other art uh, that Illness posts on Twitter that match the outfit that Quibble is wearing here, so I'm not sure if there's going to be more parts to the set or just the Quibble character itself. Another confirmed set, this time from NCS. This one will be Wolfwing, the pirate captain, probably for the seasonal chest if I had to guess. And uh, Wolfwing wearing a hat there looks pretty funny, so yeah. So yeah, pretty decent there. If you like purple, it's a good year for naval pirate related stuff. If you like the, the color purple, that's for sure. Probably talk like a pirate day related, a kind of orca mixed with something else, I don't know, uh, from J6. Alright, that's all for the stuff that's like actually confirmed or very likely to be releasing with Talk Like a Pirate Day now on to uh, these were contest entries. The contest has finished. We have not gotten any uh, news about the winners yet. Maybe they'll wait for the actual release to happen for us to see it like in game. That'd be pretty cool if they actually waited. It kind of got like an in-game announcement, but we'll probably see on Twitter within like the next week uh, because, well, next week is Talk About Pirate Day, so probably be nice to have the winners before then. Very high resolution image, I just taking a while to load. This is Dread Pirate Captain uh, from The Wanderer, and I think it's a really cool concept here, especially like the female helmet 
quite a bit with the black pirate hat with the different style and the long hair. Really cool design. And then you got the male version with, yeah, the, I guess the bodies are different uh, than the default AQ template, so wouldn't exactly work. I think Lei tried to get a, a different body template into the game before with like a thicker thigh, and uh, that was a no go. So I don't think this, as it looks here, would be able to be put into the game, but it's cool art nonetheless. Blackstar actually updated his naval commander design uh, for this year. I think I've actually shown this naval on a news video in a previous year before, if you've been watching the channel for a while, uh, or you've just been following uh, Blackstar for a while. But uh, yeah, he updated it with the, the new female template, at least for the body there, you can tell. And yeah, it does look quite a bit different than the uh, uh, older ones. Blackstar also posting a Sans Sea naval commander. I actually didn't identify this as a naval commander at first, but I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, if you look at the belts and like the uh, the arm and all that, yeah, like I, I, think, I think it's supposed to be a naval commander. Pretty cool. Another great entry was from Dino here, a, the Iron Sea Captain. Really cool concept with the uh, middle arm and the robot cape. Yeah, really nice. Jobin, uh, or I, I probably said it terribly wrong, but uh, yeah, Naval Necromander. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, we've had kind of like a ghostly naval in the past, but this is a little different and uh, yeah, pretty unique. Booty Naval Commander from uh, Vard here. This looks cool. Uh, it's probably from an anime or something that I'm not getting the reference from, but very cool looking design. And that is the end of the Naval Commander news for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, back to the uh, normal stuff. <laughs> anyway, so here's all the stuff that isn't related to Talk Like Pirate Day, starting with Dominique here with a very cool Evil Corp design uh, outfit. Uh, this one's a female version of it. I'm not too sure what, it, what this would be for. Maybe there's an upcoming Evil Corp event. Maybe, maybe related to the uh, 13th birthday event. That would be pretty cool. Uh, anyway, though, cool stuff there nonetheless. Arlette with a really nice map art. Uh, everyone was complimenting the uh, clouds in the comment section, and I definitely agree. Those are very nice looking clouds. They kind of give a more like a 3D effect to the map as well. Very well done there. This is probably part of the update tomorrow. Uh, this is based on Brazilian folklore uh, for Lara. I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably not, but uh, yeah, you can see it's kind of like a monster outfit with the leg being different than the top half there, so yeah, pretty good. Lei doing another monster design uh, with a dragon that's kind of wearing like the Dragon of Time armor. I'm not too sure what that's going to be for, but uh, probably some something story related. It might be part of the Holborn event later this month, but uh, yeah, Lei's last monster design was ah, really good. So yeah, good to see him designing more monsters. Scarif Fiend from Johan here. Uh, yeah, really cool. Would fit in with Sansi very well. Noticing a lot of Sansi related stuff this week. Maybe that's a hint for something in the future. Johan also posting the Void Turquoise Dragon outfit. Uh, yeah, very Nolgath related there. Really cool looking. Mogaloween coming up. Really excited to see what people do for Mogaloween. I'm always, uh, it's, a, it's an event with a lot of potential. I feel like it hasn't been utilized as much as it could be in the previous years recently, but uh, hopefully we see some good stuff this year. Uh, some of the good stuff from Achilles, hopefully, yep, uh, yep, and uh, purple and green, got kind of a green goblin of Mogloween going on there. Nahi with a work in progress, and they're also back, so welcome back, took a little break there, oh it's good to do that, uh, yeah, nice outfit with the flowers and everything, very cool. Tiny with a, a white and a black version of this outfit. Very, very cool. I think it's an edit uh, based off of other things, although I might be wrong. It's sort of uh, based on like the yin and yang outfits. So yeah, very, very cool. Would love to see these in game actually, maybe for Halloween. Candy corn sweater from the broken doll here. Uh, yeah, this will be the last one of the art, last, last bit art for this video. As I was recording, uh, new stuff comes up, of course, as it does. Uh, now, Alina replied to Snowvers here on, under the uh, Dominic art. Oh, Lay's actually helping out a little bit to make it, yeah, make it make more sense. Anyway, so this is a uh, fall is coming was the hashtag. Fall uh, October is their birthday for the game. Uh, it's the middle of October, which is fall. This might be related to their birthday event, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, Alina is. So 
Lena's in on what this is for, is what that means. So yeah, we'll be for the future. If you're a member, make sure to pick up your two free keys. The drops for this week include the Darken Sun Wall Deckle. Make sure you pick that up. Ecal. <laughs> the uh, Dragon Tamer Rune Cape. Very nice looking. Gotta pick that up. I think it's also rare as well. Birth items for uh, Samaros. Yeah, two uh, purple items there. Two birds. And the bubbles. What is wrong with my Twitter? The cat hair. Yeah, that's available as well. From it looks like Dragon Fable inspired heavily there. So get those from Doom Kitten and Balloon Stream. A huge thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel and making videos like these possible. I really appreciate that. Uh, there's some members that have been around for a very, very long time at this point. And yeah, really appreciate all the support on the channel. And thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, dislike it if you didn't like it. Check out yesterday's video if you haven't seen it. I uploaded a video yesterday about some item of donates, four of them to be exact, and what items I chose. So if you want to get updated on that, check out the last video. I'll be live streaming the challenge boss event tomorrow. Not going to guarantee I do the challenge boss, but hey, maybe we'll do some VHL farming or something instead of that. Challenge bosses usually not worth it. Maybe it will be worth it. We'll find out tomorrow. And then talk with Pirate Day next week. So good stuff there. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.